An investigation is underway after a barn fire in Sheboygan County. Tremontina is closing in Manitowoc. Lottery ticket finally claimed here in Sheboygan. These and other stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, service WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Wednesday, July 10th, 2019. After two big fires just two days ago, another blaze is now being investigated here in Sheboygan County. About 20 fire departments responded yesterday to a huge barn fire in the town of Greenbush. Crews responded at around 4.30 p.m. to a barn located on Barrett Road near County Road C. This is in the northwestern part of Sheboygan County, and officials, according to officials, no one was injured in the fire, but it did fully engulf the barn. Authorities did not know the cause of the fire, and the Sheboygan County Sheriff's Office responded to the scene, along with 20 local fire departments and three other teams of first responders. A big company in Manitowoc is now closed. Texas-based Tremontina is eliminating 45 jobs. Company officials say production cost increases, higher tariffs, and consolidation are the big factors. The company is now looking for someone to buy its Manitowoc plant in Morrow Drive and also cutting its workforce in Texas by 100. The president and CEO says the rising production cost over several years has affected their decision. They're also now reportedly looking at consolidating production within the group's existing factories in Brazil. The Manitowoc facility's closure was effective as of yesterday, and company officials say all affected employees will get 60 days of pay and current benefits coverage. With the abrupt company closing, local job agencies say they will be working closely with employees who are affected to help them find jobs quickly. Sheboygan police are looking into a property damage crime that happened at Dillon Park on Broughton Drive. It happened this past Saturday, a little after 10 o'clock a.m. When the police arrived, they found the Lao Mung and American Veterans Memorial had all been vandalized. Investigators believe the vandalism occurred between Wednesday, July 3rd and Friday, July 5th and consisted of possible cigarette or cigarette lighter type of burn to the images of the military and political leaders on the three separate plaques. The damage is estimated to be $1,500, and the city of Sheboygan Police Department is asking for the community for help to identify the suspects. Prevea Health plans to open up a medical office building here in Sheboygan. The 61,000 square foot building will likely be opened up on August 12th on the campus of St. Nicholas Hospital. It will be constructed with locally sourced materials, LED lighting, and low flow plumbing to reduce its environmental impact. The new facility is designed for comfort and efficiency and will be located at 3113 Salmon Avenue on the northwest side of the campus. It will offer more than a dozen specialty services including allergy, digestive health, sports medicine, orthopedics, and neurology. The specializations offered at the new five-story facility will be relocated from the other Prevea Health offices in Sheboygan area. Governor Tony Evers signed a step therapy bill into law on Tuesday. Evers has signed two bills designed to improve patient care in Wisconsin, and the first requires to be transparent about what's called step therapy, where some insurance plans require doctors to try less expensive treatments before other more expensive options are offered. The new law offers a way for patients to appeal the practice in extreme cases. 
Evers says, this bill places some of the control back into the hands of the healthcare providers and patients to decide the best treatment regimen for their medical condition. The other bill loosens restrictions placed on dialysis equipment that some patients can use in their homes. Two critically important bills that will help make healthcare more affordable and accessible and make sure that patients can make the best decisions about their care in conjunction with their physicians, Evers said in his signing message. Both bills received bipartisan support on their way through the legislature. And finally, the largest Megabucks jackpot win since 2015 has been claimed in Sheboygan. The Megabucks lottery ticket, worth nearly $6 million, was claimed by Matt Neal, who was reportedly claimed his prize this past weekend. The $5.9 million winning Megabucks ticket was sold at a Sheboygan quick trip back on January 16th. The now 180-day window to claim that ticket was set to close on July 15th. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Friday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.